Hello everybody and welcome back to, in this case, the building of the Mini Playboy. I'm moving on to this, having a break from the Young Meister, which you can see sitting on the table. Um, I'm a bit bored with all the painting and the masking and so on. Uh, I need a break from it and I want to start gluing some balsa. So it's time to start the fuselage for this model. I've actually made a mount for the engine which is detachable it's held on with um as you can see four bolts this rear plate is part of the fuselage and the front plate actually detaches now now that i've made that the fuselage has to be made to fit it and <clears throat> as mark robinson pointed out recently in one of his building videos you can't always trust the plans and this bulkhead doesn't match the plan so what i've had to do if i zoom you in a little bit i've actually marked on on here the position of the bulkhead and the positions that the stringers need to be at this point when they meet this bulkhead and it is very slightly different to the, what's drawn on the plan. So what I'm going to start doing now is actually pinning the long longitudinal stringers on here. I've cut them all from the same piece of wood using um, the balsa stripper and that means that all of the wood is of similar texture, weight, flexibility so hopefully it'll bend evenly and that'll reduce the risks of ending up with a banana shaped fuselage. So the first thing I'm going to do is pin these down. And once I've got those pinned down, we'll pop back and see where, how I'm going to proceed. So now we have the upper and lower stringer for one side has been pinned down in place. And if you look closely, you'll notice that I've avoided putting the pins through the stringers. Obviously, you start doing that, you're weakening the uh, structure of the wood itself. Uh, sometimes you can't avoid it, but in this case, I've just simply put them either side to hold the curvature for the stringers. This lower one, I had to wet it and apply a little bit of steam to get it to curve up. And if you look very closely you'll see that it deviates slightly from the plan and that's necessary for, for it to work with the bulkhead that I've made for here. So the next stage is to actually start gluing in the verticals to actually give it its uh, rigidity and once that's dried, it's a case of repeat for the second side. And I'll show you that when we get there. Let's get started gluing the verticals in. That's one side completed now. All the vertical supports have been put in place. I've had to slightly alter one of those and that is the ones that will actually support a beam to hold this servo. I've obviously altered it to suit the particular servos that I'm going to use. Um, so it's a case of let that set and then repeat and use this as a template for the next one so that they match up perfectly and I'll show you how I'm going to do that when this is all set up. So this side's had a bit of time to um, dry out now so let's remove the pins and see if it's all held together. I hope it has.
and then this is going to be used as a template for the other side. By doing that, rather than doing it on the plan again, even if there are slight errors in the placement of the wood, it's going to be identical on both, which is what we're looking for. Just a few more to remove. And this should come off the greaseproof paper is what I use. You can use greaseproof paper or you can use... Actually, covering backing is really good. Let's see if it'll come off. Sometimes it sticks a little bit. A little bit there. And if it doesn't come away, I can always sand them off. Yeah, that's good. That one's... There we go. That little piece there. That's it. That's it. So there we have it. One side done extremely light. There's no weight in there at all. I'll give it a little rub down on this side. That side, of course, is going to be perfectly flat because it's been against the board. And then this will be used as a template for the other side. I'll show you that being set up. And then the next time, we'll pause the video there, and the next time it's going to be putting the two sides together. The first side has now been repinned to the board. It doesn't have to... It could be on a blank board, it doesn't have to be on the plan at all now, because this is the template for the next side. I've pinned it down. There'll have to be more pins put in when the other side's put down, obviously. But between it, I've actually used some um, food wrapping cling film, which will obviously stop the two sides sticking together. It's better to use cling film in this case, rather than the greaseproof paper, um, simply because it's thinner and it allows a closer match. So what I want to do now is rebuild, build the new side over the top of the first one. I've also decided that in this area here, having lifted it from the board, I think it needs a gusset there to hold the shape. So on the top of this first one, I'll actually put the gussets in and then when I lift off, I'll put them into the first side as well. The next time uh, I show you a video, we'll be actually putting these two sides together to form the fuselage itself. Bye for now. If you can't get flying, get some building done.